Good morning, I'm Brooke Haves. The state moratorium on evictions ends today. Landlords can resume or begin filing eviction notices for people who have not been able to pay rent. Housing advocates predict evictions could go from 2300 a month in Milwaukee County to more than 40000 it may be too late for some small businesses, the Wisconsin Restaurant Association says. As many as one in three local restaurants statewide could be forced to close for good because of the pandemic shutdown. The farmer's wife in West Dallas is one that's already made that decision. We are in what some call the 100 deadliest days to drive. AAA says it's the time between Memorial Day and Labor Day. A spokesperson says traditionally they'd see crashes and fatalities increase during the summer. They say it's hard to predict what this summer might be like. Okay, another day with some instability and a few of these scattered thunderstorms popping with the heating of the day, mainly in the afternoon hours. Now, the thing is, if you'd see one, it's kind of like yesterday where not everyone, first of all, sees it. And if you do, it just kind of passes on by. Maybe it brings you a downpour, a quick gust of wind. Otherwise, today, very summer-like again, 85 degrees a chance of a few scattered storms that wouldn't be an all-day thing. Much cooler lakeside, by the way. For tonight, 68, a mild night, a chance of an isolated storm. Most of the night's going to be quiet, and we'll keep the chance of a storm going for tomorrow. These aren't all-day rains, though Thursday looks like it could be a little bit rainier for us. All right, once Thursday passes, we are going to cool things down going into the weekend. At least it looks pretty sunny, and it's looking dry. And you can watch your radar this afternoon on our news app. It's free in your app store.